Good morning, Miss G. It is so good to see you. And thank you so much for uh, popping in to Treat Yourself, the online TV show we are trying to roll out. Um, it was my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Just a couple questions. Um, so just main one, what is your absolute favorite thing about being home? There are a lot of things I love about being at home. One of them might be the more obvious, and that is that I'm not shaving a whole <laughs> lot these days, which is kind of nice. I'm growing the old beard out. Uh, I do like that. I, I live in a sort of semi-rural area, so I get a chance to go outside and take phone calls on nice days, which is great. Uh, and then I, I love to cook, so I'm getting some some new recipes going these days, and I, I and being able to spend the time doing that uh, has been really helpful. Because normally my days are, you know, I get in the office about 7:45 or so, and and sometimes I don't get home until 10 o'clock at night, and now I get a chance to be home like everybody else all the time, and so I get to to do my meals here and and I'm enjoying cooking. That is awesome. That's, I have to admit, I have not learned how to cook. I have been dialing on like DoorDash even more than I've ever had before, but I should step yeah. that up and learn how to cook. Well, tonight is, tonight is Friday night and we have, we have a standing um, Friday night. We eat out night. So oh, nice. Uh, we're, we're trying to figure out what we're going to do tonight for eat out, which is exciting. Lovely. <laughs> All right. Next question. Um, what would you say is the thing you miss the most about being on site in uh, Falls Church City Public Schools? Well, I thanks for asking that question. I went into education because I like being around people. Um, I like being around students. I like being around teachers and sharing ideas and talking. And that human connection is what I think I miss the most. I miss the energy that comes from being around kids especially middle school kids, because yeah. they're the best. I was a middle <laughs> school teacher for almost 10 years, middle school principal at two different schools, and I love middle schools a lot. So uh, I get my energy from kids and people, and I, I miss that a lot. That's, I, I cannot agree with you more. I miss the kids so much, and just that daily mm -hmm. interaction and the yeah. secret handshakes and the different hellos. Yeah. Oh yeah, I miss it a lot, and just and the directing component too. That's one of the reasons I love to be a theater director, yeah. working with people, collaborating, getting those ideas back and forth. Just it's yeah, I miss that a lot. Yeah. Um, so next question: Do you have any pets, and what are their names, and how are they doing? Yeah, I do. Um, we uh, sadly we had two dogs until about three months ago, and now we're down to one dog. Um, but she is, uh, she's a black lab that uh, mix. She's a rescue dog. We got her, get this, 14 and a half years ago. So she is an old lady wow. dog um, and is, is doing okay. Um, she sleeps about 23 hours a day, uh, gets up just to eat some food and, and go out and do her business. But uh, she's, a, she's a good, she's a good egg. Her name is Maxine. And, Great uh, Maxine, name. Yeah, Maxine's doing pretty well. Awesome, awesome. All right, this next one's a combo question. What okay. is your favorite snack and favorite movie? Or what are your oh. top, like, top choices? Because sometimes they can fluctuate. Yeah, so um, it's sort of a, that's a tough one because my favorite, probably my favorite snack, which I don't ever eat, but I wish I could more, is Fritos. I love Fritos. <laughs> <laughs> um so that's my favorite <laughs> snack, but I that I substitute almonds because I'm trying to eat more healthfully. Yep. Um, and but I go buy them in the aisle every time, and I look at them longingly, wishing that I could could have them. Uh, and then my favorite movie is more of a it's more of a, a favorite um, genre or or director team and creative team and, and anything by the Coen Brothers. Oh. I, I just really love the Coen Brothers. So. Uh, whether it's raising Arizona or you know all the way to Fargo, I, you know my some of my favorites. So good, great, yeah. great answer, great answer. Um, have you ever tried the honey barbecue corkscrew Fritos? No. Though, okay, no. maybe you shouldn't because those are my. <laughs> Just don't, don't, because once you try it, it's it's over. Um, you know what I got onto for a few a few a few minutes here and there was the talkies. I started to eat talkies. 
and uh and i had to stop because like, <laughs> i was eating like a whole bag of them a day so. I, that's crazy i couldn't like i would start and then it would get way too spicy i'd have to call it like nope can't yeah. do it i would do it until my eyes started to water and then <laughs> it's it. like time to put the bag down yeah. um yeah, just by the way, I want to go back to the eating out comment. Yeah. I pick it up and bring it home just to make sure everybody knows we're not actually going out to eat. We're picking up food. Gotcha. Thank you for the clarification. We want, to, we want to use appropriate social distancing and not um, and stay quarantined as best we can. Yes, absolutely. Um, well, again, thank you so much. And before we go, just do you have any parting words of wisdom or advice or just anything you'd like to share before uh, we wrap it up? Well, yeah, I think moments like this uh, really make my day, my days full. Um, and I think the reason that they, uh, that it feels good is because we're laughing. Yeah. And I think being able to maintain our sense of humor through this really hard period is going to be really important. So I would advise people to, uh, you know, be, be gentle with each other, laugh as much as you can, maintain your social distancing, wash your hands, use a mask. And don't forget, this is temporary. It feels like it's going to be a long time, but it is temporary and it will pass and we will be back to normal before we know it in the grand scheme of things. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Dr. Noonan. And again, I appreciate your time and have an amazing day. Miss G, you too. Thank you. Be well. Hi, Ms. Phil Meyer. How are you? Hey, Ms. G. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. I very much miss you and uh, just calling to check in to see how you are and to see, um, just ask you a couple questions if that's okay. Yep, I'm ready. Awesome. So first one, what is your absolute favorite thing about being home? So my favorite thing about being home is getting to spend more time with my son and getting actually a lot more time outside. I really love to be outside, so I'm really enjoying that time um, when it's sunny out. Awesome. Actually, even when it's not sunny out, we went out in the rain the other day, too. That's, yeah, I think I've done the same thing. Like, I just need to get outdoors once in a while. Um, what is the thing you miss the most about Henderson? So I think everyone's probably saying this, but definitely seeing all the kids and hearing all their stories and yep. catching up with them. I really, really miss seeing everyone and the teachers, of course, too. But definitely, it doesn't feel totally the same just messaging with students. I really miss their faces. Yeah, I uh, I'm, I very much miss walking down the halls and the hi, everybody. Like, that's, yeah. I love that they're sending videos, but there's just, I, I very much miss that. Um, so with a lot, you know, again, we're, what, three and a half weeks into this whole thing. And obviously, a lot of us sometimes struggle here and there. And I was just wondering if you had any tips for us, for the kids, for everybody, just what we can do to make sure we're staying positive and healthy and just trying to make the best out of the situation? Yeah, so that's a great question. And of course, um, this is so hard, right? Like, and I think the first thing is for us to acknowledge that this is hard. This is hard for the adults and the kids. This is a major change. And what can we do to kind of make the best of, of what what's happening? So. The few things that I would recommend is to try to keep some kind of a routine and schedule. Um, so I know that that might not be easy to do, but it's really important to kind of give yourself some kind of schedule so that you can also schedule in breaks, things that are fun, time to chat with your friends. And I know that so many kids are being so creative and creating playlists and writing journals and doing art and chatting with friends and having like game nights via, you know, zoom or whatever platform they're allowed to use so i think just trying to think of ways to stay connected with um your friends at school with us the counselors and the teachers and of course just talking like whoever that is just talking to someone um finding time to talk with your parents um and just really making sure that you're not um tucking things in and you're making sure that people know truly how you're feeling that is awesome because I know that's I struggle like I've noticed a big difference if I don't at least call someone or connect someone face to face I definitely feel a difference in my day so I know that's been working really well for me so thank you for that yeah. um, is there anything else you wanted to say before we wrap up again I appreciate you taking time out of your day to do this no, of course. And I do also like movement is important, right? And mm -hmm. we're in front of our screens all day. So I know that I just said like connect with people and some kids are doing games through like the screen and connecting with others in that way. 
um, playing Pictionary or whatever through Zoom. But I do think that it's really important to try to find some form of exercise, whatever that might be for you, right? So for some, it's taking a walk. Some, it's riding a bike. Some people are doing push-up contests. I don't know. Yoga, whatever it is. Um, this is also a great time to try maybe something new. Mm -hmm. um, there are tons of platforms that are offering great exercise um, routines. Our PE department put out a lot of great stuff. So I would really recommend that um, we keep moving as much as we can, which is hard when we're stuck inside for the I most agree, part. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. And um, we will definitely see you again. And um, is there any uh, goodbye wish you want to send everyone? And then we'll wrap up. Um, hang in there, everyone. We're here to support you. We miss you. Please reach out to us. And um, we can't wait to see you back at Henderson soon. Thanks, Ms. Fulmeyer. Good. Yeah. Uh, what is one of your favorite things about being home? Uh, it's nice to be able to see my family all the time because... With being at school so much, all my parents, well, both my parents are usually on calls when I get back home. Mm -hmm. So it's nice when they're not on calls, I can actually see them and talk to them because I never really got to do that. And then my mom would have to do stuff after we had dinner, so I couldn't see her a lot. But now I get to see her more, which is really nice. Well, that's good. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, I definitely am appreciating being able to talk to my dad a lot more because he is, you know, at home. Um over the phone because they're out in Front Royal. Um, what do you think is like one of the main things you miss the most about being in Henderson, like actually going to school every day? Um, one of the things was actually go every morning with Tabby going into your room and talking to you in the morning because that actually really helped brighten my day up because I just really like talking to you and it – like, even when I was having a bad day, it made my day feel much better. Oh, well, thank you. I think that is what I miss the most, too, is those morning check-ins when I first get to the building mm -hmm. and then people come in just to say hi. You know, that was just, I really, really miss that. Um, and I always would look forward to it, but I never realized just how much that impacted my day. So thank you for doing that. Um, what uh how are your so i just got to meet your dog how are your pets holding mm -hmm. up with all of this are they super happy to have you home she is uh, a little on both sides of she really enjoys us having like really enjoys us being here and also she's much crazier because like <laughs> enjoys us all being here because we're giving her pets and stuff but she's being much crazier because she realizes oh i have an opportunity to play more so she just she always, like, if you just pet her, she runs away and grabs her toy and comes back and, and thinks it's an opportunity to play. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Yeah, my dogs, they, they're getting, they're, they're very cuddly still, but they're starting to get that, like, you're here again today. All right. Um, <laughs> so just, this is, I know, I don't know about you, but I've been watching a lot of Netflix, um, a lot of my favorite mm -hmm. movies. So just off the top of your head... What is, this is a combo question, what is your favorite movie and favorite snack? So I actually haven't been watching many movies. I have been watching a lot of shows, actually, like 10, 10 episode season shows, because I found a few that were really interesting. The one I'm watching now is called The Society. Mm -hmm. It's a really interesting show, actually. It's like about a ton of kids who get left alone in their supposed town and they have a limited supply of like food and water and stuff and they are trying to figure out how to get out and go back to their home oh cool and my favorite snack at the moment has actually been this giant bag of sour patch kids oh that looks amazing well done yeah. i'm a big fan of sour patch kids all right, Fiona. Well, thank you so much. Before we go, do you have any parting words for, um, or just words of encouragement? Um, anything you want to say to all of your fellow students and faculty or teachers um, at Henderson? Just in general, stay safe. I like my mom has been so scared to like send me out to go anywhere. Um, so just stay safe and don't go out that much like it's not bad to go out a couple times but don't go out really often like and make sure you have at least a mask 
and you stay apart from everybody because we don't need anybody catching COVID-19. Awesome, Fiona. Well, thank you so much. Um, It has been a pleasure. I miss chatting with you in the mornings. Um, But yeah, we'll do this again. But you have a fantastic, oh my gosh, what day is it now? Wednesday, right? It's Wednesday. (laughs) All right. Have a lovely, lovely Wednesday. You too. Bye. Bye.